What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and today Apple did release iOS 8.1.1 to developers. This is the very first incremental upgrade to 8.1, and in this video I do want to cover what's changed, are there any new features, is the performance difference, and what does it mean to jailbroken devices. So if you guys go into your over-the-air settings in your iPhone, you won't be able to see this, because obviously this is a developer-only preview, it's in the first beta stage, but it won't be long until we actually see it on our devices. Unfortunately, if if you guys are jailbroken it does mean instant death to the jailbreak now for now the jailbreak is patched with ios 8.1.1 it's been confirmed by several sources so if you guys try and install cydia it will not work now what this means is you cannot update if you want to keep cydia on your phone now apple's not some big bad company that they don't want to let us have fun with the jailbreak a jailbreak pretty much means there's exploits in the system that can be used for malware or stealing information stuff like that so they don't like to keep that around for long so unfortunately yes iOS 8.1.1 will patch the jailbreak so do not update when iOS 8.1.1 is released now you know in some cases we can be lucky maybe a couple slight alterations to Pangu will keep the iOS 8.1.1 jailbreak alive I mean I've seen that in the past where Apple patches it however you know they just modify it a little bit and re-release it for the new update so I'm hoping for that I'm hoping it'll be a quick little fix and we'll be able to see Cydia on iOS 8.1.1 again I will keep you guys updated through the whole process anyway Anyways, iOS 8.1.1 focuses on two things, and that's performance and stability. Now, the official change log is that it works on the iPhone 4S and iPad 2 better. So those are the lowest end devices with the least amount of RAM, and it's been said that it's optimized a lot more, and I will be showing you guys that in my next video. I'll be comparing the two from older firmwares to newer ones to see if anything really has changed, and I'm really curious to see how the iPhone 4S performs, because with iOS 8.1, there really wasn't a difference, as I showed you guys in my video and I'm hoping iOS 8.1.1 there will be more of a difference because that's what it's advertised for. As far as new features go, I mean, nothing has been reported yet. We haven't seen any new features on iOS 8.1.1, and I will be doing a review of it in my next video as well. But generally, iOS 8.1.1 is for performance and stability. Anyways, so that's just a quick little update for you. iOS 8.1.1 will patch the Cydia jailbreak, and it'll drop in about a month. We usually see about four to five betas until the final version is released. And again, I'll be keeping you guys updated throughout the entire process. So just a little update. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Peace.